Welcome back to the Holy Family Senior School and we have new procedures and protocols in place. So listen up. If you're in Miss Wyatt's class or in second class, this is your entrance. 8.55 in the morning for Miss Wyatt's class and all the second class students are to be dropped off here at 9.05 in the morning. Let's go. So the sun is shining and we're ready to start back in school. This is the main entrance, opposite is the cathedral, and to my right here is the Old Ground Hotel. And if you're in third class and it's 9.05 in the morning, you enter here and exit here. And if you're in fifth class, 9 a.m. exactly, enter this way and a teacher will show you to your classroom. So here I am at the front gate of the Holy Family School. Right in front of the cathedral and to my right is the Old Ground Hotel. This is where Miss Brown's class enter the school at 8.55 every morning. So I'm here at the side entrance just by Dunn's and at 9 in the morning exactly, this is when all the four class children will enter and go straight to their classroom. Then at 9.05 in the morning, all the six class students enter and go straight to their classroom. We'll have plenty of teachers on site to help you on your way. So now we know the entry and exit points for Miss Wyatt's class for second class, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. But I got a phone call just there and a parent asked me, I have a son in second class and a daughter in fourth class. Where do they go and what time? So if you have a brother and sister or a sibling of any kind in the school, you take the older one's entry and exit points and you come in there at 8.55 in the morning. So if you have a brother or a sister, take the older person's entry and exit point and enter at 8.55 a.m. in the morning. Now, let's come into the school and I'll teach you all about our stay on the right hand side policy. Come on. So, you've entered the school building. Let's go through some safety measures. First of all, wash your hands well and often to avoid contamination. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or sleeve when coughing or sneezing and discard the used tissue. That means put the tissue into the bin. Avoid touching eyes, nose or mouth with unwashed hands. And four, clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. So when entering or exiting the building, it's very, very important that you go to one of these hand sanitizer stations that are sprinkled around the entire classroom. One pump, and disinfect your hands so we could all keep it nice and safe. Go. So on entering the school, or more specifically, your classroom downstairs from room one, two, three, four, five, and six, if there's someone sanitizing their hands on entry, you wait patiently. Then you move until it's your turn. Come on, I'll show you. Squirt and a good clean. So Miss Bridge and Tim have signs placed around the entire school to remind us to social distance in a safe way. That's keeping two meters, if you can at all possible, apart between you and the person in front of you. 
So when you're walking down the corridor or up the stairs, you stay on the right hand side of these signs. Hello sign, stay on the right hand side of these signs. Okay, pick up the pace. So when traveling out or into the school, please stay on the right hand side, whether you're on the corridor or walking down the stairs. Stay airyish, stay on the right. Around the stickers, keeping a safe distance between the person in front of me and the person behind. Staying on the right hand side. So, parents on the school grounds must wear a mask like this or like this at all times. There is no drop-ins, which means if you need to talk to a teacher, you need to ring Lucy at reception to book an appointment. Remember, wear your masks at all times on the school grounds and ring if you want to talk to any of your teachers. So this is my safe bubble or my classroom. And here is my safe pod, where we have three tables and two to six of my classmates. And it's where I can feel safe and sound. I have my own pencil case with all my own erasers, pencils and colouring pens. And I won't share them with anyone for now. I'll also put my own coat on the back of this seat. I can't wait to see who sits beside me at my new pod. It's time for me to leave. And I remember when I go down the stairs, I stay on the right hand side. And I go straight out the exit from my classroom and to my car to avoid people at all costs. Just for now, until things get a little safer. So I'll sanitize my hands and oh yes, all the teachers, your classroom teacher, has sent your mom or your dad a little email this evening with all the safety measures in it. And also, the good news is, we will have no homework for the first two weeks at least till we all get settled in. Okay, slow on and see you in the morning.